My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some UiPath. Today we will see how we can use the lookup data table in UiPath. I created an example here. I created an Excel sheet with two columns, uh, name and age. We got some dogs named, that's just random names and random ages. We want to uh, ask on the name and then we will get the corresponding age. So let's see how that is done. First we will have an input dialog here. Let's drag this guy in. And by the way, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos about UiPath and RPA. So here we will have uh, the age of the dog. And we will ask the user to put in the name of the dog, like this. Then, uh, So we will ask the user to put in a dog's name and then we will tell him the age. So uh, by the help of lookup data table. So we will have an output here, that will be a string. So control K, str search, that, was, that is what we want to search for. So the user put in a, a dog's name and then we'll store it here in this search and we can uh, see it here. And we can change it to a string. And um, then we will uh, read the, this Excel sheet into a data table. So let me close it. So then we'll find an Excel application scope here. We will find our uh, Excel sheet on where we place it. I place mine here, new Microsoft Excel worksheet. We'll open it. We'll click visible off because we don't want to look at all the operation that is done. And then we can uh, read it into a data table. So choose the read range and make sure it's the Excel read range, not the um, workbook. So just choose it here from the Excel. And then uh, what we'll do here is that we'll create a data table. So control K, DT data. Now we created a data table variable. We can see it down here. So far, so good. And now we can look up in this data table. So let's find a lookup data table here. Let me drag this guy in and we can feed it with information. First, we will look up in this data table that we just created, DT data. What do we want to, what do we want to look up? Well, let me open the Excel sheet again. We want to look up the doc's name and we just got the name from up here, so and we stored the variable in uh, the string str search. Remember, so this one is the that, that looked up the user search here. Then we will um, tell uh, UiPath or uh, the lookup data table in what column we will we will read, and this is the name column. So here in the column name, we'll just say name. That one will look for uh, for this word in this column. Then what we will do is that we can uh, get the row out. So um, let's say that we search for a bandit. That's in row one because it's zero index. So this is row zero. This is row one. And we will get out row one. We can try that. So here in the row index, control K, it row index, we could call it. And then we could have a message box. So let me drag in a message box here. And this one will be the row, and then we could have to string. So now what we'll do, what we'll do here is that we'll look up, we'll ask for dog's name, look it up here, and then we'll get the, the row that we have this dog's name in. Let's try to run it. Let us search for a dog. We could search for Raven. That will be in row two, right? So Raven. And that is indeed in row two. And of course, we can only handle if you write in these names. We could, of course, have, have an if, if uh, the user wrote something else. However, that's not the mission of this uh, lesson of today. So, yeah, and we can uh, even uh, tweak it uh, even more. So let's say that we uh, now we got we know that it's here in uh, row two. However, we wanted the corresponding age. And that's what we also can configure here in lookup data table. So we will tell um, the, the activity what column do we want out. We want the, the age column out, right? So then just put in age here. And this one will combo, so this one will combo the row with this column. And the row, that was row two, that's here with this column. So this one will give us uh, this output as an object. That will be two in this case. So then go up to cell value, control K. We'll create an object called object H, like this. So now we can print out, so we ask on the dog's name and we can print out the corresponding H. Let's see how that is done here. We go down to our message box. We can say something like the age 
of the dog blank. Then we could put in uh, str search, that's the dog's name. We can have an is, and then we can put in the object h, like this. So now we search for a dog, we look up here, we find the corresponding h and print it out. Let's just try that. And just try to search for another dog. We could search for maybe the oldest dog, Storm. Like this. The age of the dog, Storm, uh, 12. Uh, did I miss an, miss an is? Yeah, the age of the dog, Storm, is. Uh, so I miss an age, is here. But you get the point. We could try it one more time if you just wanted to see that it actually works with perfect grammar. <laughs> so we can look up Raven, and Raven should be six years old, right? The age of dog Raven is 6. So far, so good. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos about UiPath and RPA. Have a good day. Bye bye.